Hi, this is Marla with Daisy DIY Flowers and I'm going to put together a bridal bouquet and just show you how easy it is. Now I do have all my flowers laid out and ready to go. So I've got my recipe or my menu that I'm going to be putting in them. I've taken all the greenery, any leaves off of all of my stems. And then I also have any leaves or greens that I'm going to add to my bouquet kind of ready to go. So I'm going to start with kind of the larger flowers and I'm just basically going to kind of put together in my hand. There's really not a right or wrong way to do this. It's just kind of piecing the items together. Kind of working a little bit of green as I go. Oh, so pretty. Kind of pull the guard petals off, but if you see one kind of floating around it needs to come off they're there and as I go I'm kind of going to turn it in my hand what I do is go side to side to side and kind of turn it at the same time. Now, if it gets to be a little too much to hold, you could go ahead at this point and put a zip tie around it and then continue to add together or add to it. I'm going to pull this one off because it's low. I want it to have not a completely round shape but you can decide that as you're making it. You can also pull up and pull down stuff while it's in your hand, so you kind of get that really nice depth. Now I'm gonna kind of go around the whole thing with greenery, kind of make a collar for the, for the flowers themselves. And I kind of like this shape a little, so I'm kind of accentuating that with the greens. So I have all the flowers added that I want to add and I'm just going to add a few more pieces of greenery that I'm just going to put just around the base. And turn it as I do, as I have the others. And if you ever need to set this down because the way that you're putting it together and turning it you're kind of interlocking the stems. So you can actually set it down and let go of it and it won't go anywhere. You won't lose all your work. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna secure it together though. I took two shorter zip ties and put them together. You could also use one long one. And I am actually just gonna zip tie this together to hold all those stems in there. And my stems are long, I haven't cut them off yet. And I'm gonna do that once I do this. So now's another time that I can look at it and make any little adjustments that I might wanna make before I get that zip tie 
any tighter. And I like it like that. So I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit more. And now I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer right now than I, prop, than I would for walking down the aisle. But I want to make sure that I can put this down in a vase so that it's got water to drink until the day of the wedding. And then the day of the wedding, you're gonna to wanna to finish it off with any ribbon or wire, any of your fancy um, decoration that you wanna put on the stem. also see how what a great centerpiece or item this makes for the bridal table the bright you can also do this with your bridesmaids bouquets put those in in vases and um, and decorate your table and keep your flowers fresh throughout the ceremony and, and the reception <music>